I want to switch tack to another terrible event that's unfolded in the US. We talked about it on my program last night. That was that shocking beating where five African-American police beat to death an African-American man in Memphis. And extraordinarily, we showed last night a newspaper piece, a written column was suggesting it was still racism at play. Now, today, that's the author of that piece, the CNN com commentator Van Jones, has tried to explain what he means. Have a look. You believe this racial bias played a role in the officers' behaviors? Yeah, I, I do because, um, first of all, uh, uh, black people are at risk from police no matter what color. Uh, black, white, brown, you talk to African Americans, they'll tell you, um, it, it doesn't matter. There's this per pervasive view from law enforcement that if you're black, you're dangerous. So, Kristen, we see from that that, of course, when African Americans are harmed by white police officers, that's white racism at play. But when African American people are harmed by African American police officers, that also apparently is white racism at play. Yeah, these left-wing race hustlers are completely shameless. They will do anything to push their political narrative, and everyone realizes it at this point. It's obvious. Uh, but, but something that I don't think enough people are talking about, Chris, is one of the things going on in this country right now is that nobody wants to be a police officer because dignity has been stripped from the profession because of these race hustlers. So what's happened is you have these big cities having real problems recruiting high-quality cops. And in fact, at least two of the five cops involved in this incident in Memphis were hired after that city drastically reduced its standards for cops. Uh, you don't even need an associate's degree anymore to, to become a cop in Memphis and many other cities. And that leads to lower quality candidates applying for these jobs and then a lower quality police force. Nobody wants to do this job anymore. You don't make that much money. You're putting yourself in harm's way every single day. And you know that if you do use force against the suspect, there is a chance that you could have the entire media, uh, the, the national media, turn you into a villain, uh, whether or not what you're doing is justified or not. So this is part of the problem. I think it's a recruiting crisis. And then the, the, the issue of police brutality, which does exist in some cases, simply snowballs and gets worse when you don't have honorable guys out there doing this job. Yeah, the problem you would think is less about race or faith or the like. You want police officers who respect the people they're dealing with and also you exactly. want police officers to have authority, the respect of the community. Oh, they've been completely stripped of respect after George Floyd and then we saw the BLM riots for the for the year, the year after that, uh, you know, police officers were totally vilified. And I have friends here in Houston who are former cops or some are still cops. Nobody wants to do this job anymore. The force is getting older. They're having trouble bringing new guys in. So they're just having to get anyone they can to join the force. And it's not the same quality that it used to be. And the training is not as good as it used to be either because they're just so desperate to get cops on the street that they don't have time or, or resources to put all of these guys through the necessary training. It's really tragic uh, because, you know, we need good cops out there to protect law-abiding citizens and families. Sure do. Uh, another shocking incident and more work for the courts uh, to work through in the future. Thanks for joining us again, Kristen. Appreciate it. Thanks, as always, for having me, Chris.